We've revamped the layout for the Manage Sets page to make editing and creating sets more efficient and intuitive. Let's take a look under Admin, Manage Sets. Here is our list of sets with the improved layout. The list is currently scoped to My Sets. We can also scope it to Public Sets or All. Each set displays its name, type, logical or itemized, status, content type such as all titles, creator, and creation date. Filtered sets are clearly labeled as such, as are combined sets that contain filtered sets. For each set, you can navigate to the content of the set and perform various actions such as duplicating the set or combining it with another set. You can search for specific sets by their name or creator. You can also sort the list of sets by creation date or name, and reorder it in ascending or descending order. To refine the list by various criteria, you can expand the facets bar on the left. You may, for example, only want to display sets of type itemized with the content type all titles. You may select more than one criterion for each facet, for example, to add another content type. After selecting your criteria, click Apply. The list is now faceted according to your choice. You can easily remove facets to expand the list. To release all facets, click Clear All. When done working with the facets bar, you can easily collapse it. To view the details of a set, simply click on it. A side panel opens with the full details of the set, including name, description, and set information. If you like, you can always toggle between the split view and the list view. The sections panel allows you to navigate to and highlight a specific section of the set details. You can adjust the panel width, open full page view, and easily switch back to split view. You can edit the set in line, for example, to add a description. Your changes are automatically saved. There is no need to navigate to a separate page and lose the list context just to edit a set. You can add a note on the set. After entering the note, the information is automatically saved. Notes are now not only easier to edit, but they are a lot more noticeable on the list view. Hover on the note icon to read the note in its entirety. In the case of filtered or combined sets, you can find the filter or the related sets on the bottom of the panel. From the top of the panel, you can perform actions on the set or navigate to its content. Here are the titles belonging to our set. For itemized sets, you can add members to the set or select members and remove them. When done working on the set content, you can click Done or Back to return to the list. When viewing a logical set, in addition to navigating to the content, you also have the option to run the set query and display it on the sliding right panel. To create a new set, you can click Create Itemized Set or, in our example, Create Logical Set. In the Set Details dialog, enter the set name an optional description and note, and select the content type. For bibliographic records, you may select the content origin. You can make the set public by deselecting the private checkbox, and the status is active. Click Create. Now we need to enter the query used for our logical set, and save the query. In the Set Details page, you can review and edit the details and click Save. Our new set has been successfully created. So that's the new layout for the Manage Sets page. Thanks for joining. Uh -huh.